assalamu alaikum everyone welcome to my channel medical lectures and mnemonics today i am going to talk about on the disease of external ear so in the previous video i have already talked about on the anatomy of the external ear you, you can find the link of the anatomy uh, video of external ear here in the description so the disease of external ear can be categorized into four one is the congenital here you can see the other is traumatic the third one is the inflammatory and the fourth one is the tumors or neoplastic condition so in this video i'm going to talk about on the congenital disorders the first congenital disorder is the enotia which is the complete absence of the ear along with absence of labial of the ear uh, the it may be unilateral or bilateral the second one is the microtia which is abnormally small ears and peanut ear is a a, is one of the form of microtia the third one is the microtia which is abnormally large ear the fourth one is the bait ear or the protruding ear in which the ear is abnormally protrude in the in the bait ear the protruding ear is characterized by uh, large conca with poorly developed antihelix and scapa in this deformity can be corrected after the age of six year by surgery. The, the fifth pet condition is the cup ear or the loop ear. Uh, and it is also a congenital disorder in which the upper portion of the helix is copped. In the sixth condition, congenital condition is the cryptotia. Sixth condition is the cryptotia, in which the upper third of the helix is embedded within the skin of the uh, scalp. And this can be corrected by uh, by surgical repositioning repositioning of the upper portion of the penna and uh, covering the bar area with the skin graft. The seventh condition is the coloboma, in which the ear is divided in the midline by a transverse clip. The eighth condition is the Darwin's tubercle. It is a congenital disorder in which there is a pointed tubercle is uh present on the upper portion of the helix and it usually represent the um, apex of the pain of the lower animal the ninth condition is the style ear uh, the style ear is a condition the upper cross of the anti helix is duplicated and it reach the rim of the uh, it reaches the rim of the helix the Tenth condition is deformity of ear lobule. The ear lobule may be completely absent. It may be abnormally large. It may be abnormally biped or it may be attached or fixed. So the eleventh condition, uh, congenital condition, is the preauricular tics or appendages. These are the uh, skin. These are the tics which is uh, covered by skin and these are present on the line which is drawn from the tragus to, tragus to the angle of the mouth the seven the twelfth the twelfth uh, uh, congenital condition is the preauricular pits or sinus these are uh, actually uh, the pits which are present on the cross of the helix and uh, this condition is also known as the preauricular sinus so this was all about on the uh, congenital anomaly of the external ear. For more videos, subscribe, like and share.